so they got rid of Bugsy. But they do have a nice memorial for him inside. Now this end of Flamingo Hotel, they've added the Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. In October of 2011, our Margaritaville made their way to the Guinness Book of World Records with the world's largest frozen margarita. It was in a 14 foot tall glass that they had sitting out front. They had to fill it from the balcony. Now it took 6,000 bottles of triple sec and 6,000 bottles of tequila. It took two long weeks to get everything all stirred up and frosted, but when it was finally finished, now as you get up here and we go past the sign, don't worry about trying to get a photo of the front of the sign as we go down this way, because you're going to be turned around awkwardly in your chair and you'll have little solar panel trees in your view that completely block the shot. But don't worry, we're going to go past the sign, we will you try to come back down facing it, and as we do, Misael goes nice and slow so that everybody can get a good picture of the sign from the bus. So no worries, we got you covered. Now coming up off to our left here, we're going to see our McCarran Airport. A lot of people don't know this. Wait for this full stop. I've got to get my sales agent up here. We got to take the tape here. Here. Maybe at least just get a free vacation out of it. I think that'd be enough right there. Now, when I was younger, we lived in Chicago. My parents would come to Las Vegas every single year at the end of their bowling league. Well, one year. My mom hit a $4,000 royal flush in the airport 15 minutes before they had to get on the plane to head home. It was perfect. She didn't have time to spend any of it, and we got to go on a big old shopping spree when they got back. Yeah, I still remember my Punky Brewster bed sheet set that I picked up that day. It was fabulous. Now we're going to make a big U-turn here because we're a big bus and we do everything big. I want to make our way back on down the street. Now as you make our way around the sign, go to get your cameras ready to get your photos of the sign. Just remember I need you all to stay in your seat for your photos. It is a safety issue. If not, maybe at least just get a free vacation out of it. I think that'd be enough right there. Now when I was younger, we lived in Chicago. My parents would come to Las Vegas every single year at the end of their bowling league. Well one year, my mom hit a $4,000 royal flush in the airport 15 minutes before they had to get on the plane to head home. It was perfect. She didn't have time to spend any of it, and we got to go on a big old shopping spree when they got back. Yeah, I still remember my Punky Brewster bed sheet set that I picked up that day. It was fabulous. Now we're going to make a big U-turn here because we're a big bus and we do everything big. I want to make our way back on down the street. Now as we make our way around the sign, go to get your cameras ready to get your photos of the sign. Just remember I need you all to stay in your seat for your photos. It is a safety issue. It's all karaoke every single night at Ellis Island. Now I realize you guys are all out on vacation, so you're never going to see these people again. Grab that microphone, get on stage. Who cares if you can't sing? As long as you have a great time, that, my friends, is what karaoke is all about. So get over there, Ellis Island, let down your hair and have a little fun. Relax, you're in Vegas, it's what we do, right? Now if you're a little nervous about getting on stage in front of a bunch of strangers, simply go up to the bar and get yourself a shot of liquid courage. And if that doesn't work for you, pick four or five people in the bar randomly. Buy them a shot as well. That doesn't matter how you sound, as soon as you step off that stage, they're going to applaud for you like you were the best thing they've heard all night and it'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Got it all figured out, I really need to take with you and you get to ride around that golf cart all day long, so why not? Say yeah. Now I know a property such as Wynn Encore can employ up to about 8,000 people. A lot of people working one place. 
Now, if you have a job, you know you have to get to work, and if you have to get to work, you might drive, and if you're going to drive, you're going to have to park someplace once you get there. Well, over here on our right, we have these seven-story parking garage for WIN employees only. Just to give you an idea how many people work in one place, this is just for those who work at WIN. There's a matching garage on the other side of the Encore for those who work there. Now this track that goes above the center of the street here in front of us is for the monorail. Our monorail goes along the entire back side of the strip from the MGM Grand all the way down to the SLS. And it does stop at a few of the different resorts that we'll have along the way. You just have to walk about half a mile through the casino in Oracle Wizard of Oz theme. You can go skipping down the Elephant Road, see Dorothy and the Tin Man and the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion. But everybody was skipping down that Elephant Road and going past the pit and not play the games. So that had to go. They took it out to give it a more luxurious adult theme. Now if you look towards the left side of the tower there in front of us, you'll see terraces that are stairs stepping up to the top. Those are the terrace suites. Now each one is a two-story suite where you have a clear spiral staircase in your room that will take you upstairs to your second level and you get your very own 700 square foot terrace just for you and your friends. Now it's only $725 for one night in the terrace suites, but if you're going to have a party, have everyone pitch in a little bit. It won't pinch your pocket too much. You'll have plenty of room to hang out and enough room for everyone to crash when you're done. I've been trying to tell my boyfriend that.